Okay, thank y'all for checking out my videos, Meals for Moms. Today, we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna do a chicken cheesesteak with a side of boardwalk fries. Y'all ready? Let's get started. We're gonna start by frying some onions and green peppers. So that's how I like mine, why onion and green peppers. If y'all don't wanna use that, you just wanna do onions, that'll work. Just wanna do peppers, that'll work. Some people put mushroom and they use the cheese whiz. I've been seeing bacon, shrimp, shrimp cheese steak. That's always been a good one too. So we're gonna saute this up for a few minutes so it begins to uh, get tender and a little bit translucent. The onions will mean that you can see through them and the peppers I can actually break apart to some extent with the um, tongue and I'll be right back. Okay, so while onions and green peppers are sauteing, I'm gonna start this Asian barbecue sauce that I'm gonna put on top of our cheese steaks. Let's get started with that. And all I'm gonna do is put in some barbecue sauce. I don't need a lot because it's just going to top it. And I'm gonna put in some water to thin it out some. Not that much. You just want it a little thinner than what it was. You're gonna cook this. So it's gonna reduce down some more. I'm gonna add in some mirin. Say about a tablespoon. I'm gonna say about a tablespoon of each for right now. Some soy sauce. Some rice wine vinegar. About a tablespoon and a half of rice wine vinegar. Some horseradish. That I'm probably gonna put about a teaspoon of that in. About a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Uh, about a teaspoon of parsley flakes and a little sesame seed. And with the sesame seed, that's that's optional. You don't have to do that, but I like to use it. I could use some uh, sesame seed oil, sesame oil, but I just decided to go with the seed today with the theme of the roll because we're actually going to use the onion roll instead of the uh, the uh, hoagie roll. Why? Because it was on sale and this is meal for mom and that's what we do. So I'm gonna go take this to the stove and then I'll show you what to do for this. All right, so our onions are beginning to uh, turn see-through in color, which we would call translucent, see here? And our green peppers, we can break up with the tongs. So this is what we want. You can see some of them are getting a little brown. That's fine, that's how I like my, if any, honestly, I like my stuff a little burnt, but this isn't burnt. Those are just the, the smaller, thinner onion that cook a little faster than the bigger ones. And that's all about the change, because we're about to put in the meat. And I just want to show you, I'm just using a basic uh, chicken steak, that's it. Chicken, uh, this one is actually the thin meat and not the whole steak, it's thinned out. So we're gonna break that up, let me show you. And this is what it looks like. We're gonna break it up and we're gonna put them in the pan. This is it, we're gonna break it and put them in the pan. So I'll be right back once I get all the meat in. Okay, so all of the chicken is broken up now. We are now sauteing it with our onions and green peppers. Uh, chicken is much more soft and thinner than the uh, beef steaks. So while it's cooking, we're gonna season it with some salt. Chicken is a little more blander also than the, uh, the beef ones, so I use a little extra salt and some pepper. I'm not gonna put too much because we're using that um, Asian barbecue sauce as I showed you. It's in the back here and it's beginning to bubble. Zoom into that. It's beginning to bubble, um, so we're gonna reduce that some more and we're gonna add that on top of our chicken. So I'm gonna keep cooking this chicken here and I'll be right back. All right, you see our chicken here is almost done. You see how it's uh, turning white from that peaches, peach color looking the way it was. 
us because of course it was rough. And it was a lot of liquid because it was frozen. And nine times out of 10, they use a thigh meat, chicken thigh, and chicken thigh is, is much more uh, moist anyway. So we're gonna let that continue to cook. And I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of brown sugar, tablespoon, a, a tablespoon of brown sugar in our uh, sauce in the back here. Just about one tablespoon. And I'm gonna stir that up. You see it's already thickening back up. And if you saw earlier, we just put, we started with barbecue sauce, a little water, soy, mirin, rice wine vinegar, a little bit of horseradish, parsley, red pepper flakes, and some sesame seed. And now we just put about a tablespoon of um, brown sugar. We will continue to let that reduce and we're gonna pour that on top of our chicken cheese steaks. All right, be back there. All right, so our chicken is about done. I drained off some of that liquid that you saw that accumulated because the meat was frozen. And now we're just frying up just to make sure there's no uh, other pink or peach or not opinion. Spots left in the chicken. You see you still got your green peppers, your onions. You see how much it reduced? You see how much we had the uh, onions and green peppers was in here and now that we cooked them, shriveled up to naught. Uh, so now I'm going to add in my banana peppers. I don't have that much banana peppers left, so I'm just going to add in all of this. I had a little bit of juice left in the container. I left that in there as well. That's just kind of a vinegar, vinegary flavor. My kids don't like banana peppers that much. I love them. So I'll add just a little bit. Just to be nice. Any other time. Oh, no, ma'am. You just have to pick it out. But I'm gonna be nice today. So I'm gonna let this cook for about another three minutes, three to four minutes, and then I'm gonna add our provolone cheese and then we're gonna put this all together. All right, our chicken is done. There's no more moisture at the bottom of the pan. I drained out the excess moisture and I only poured in a little from the uh, vinegar that the banana peppers were sitting in. Other than that, it was enough moisture in the chicken to make sure that it didn't stick to the pan. So now all I do is I spread it out all over the pan here. I cut it down a little, medium. And I'm going to put provolone cheese all throughout the chicken here. It's gonna let me tear it apart. There we go. So uh, I'll be right, right back. You see how fast the provolone cheese is melting? So it doesn't take long. Once you add this on, you might as well get your bread ready. I have a couple pieces in the oven. And then I'm gonna show you the uh, french fries. Let's go. All right, so we have some fries here. You will fry any way that you regularly fry fries. Some people put it in the oven, you can put it in the oven. Deep fry, however you wanna do it, that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna top it with some salt. Remember, we're doing boardwalk fries, which is basically salt and vinegar. That's it, salt and vinegar. So I'm just using regular white, distilled, uh, regular vinegar, white, re regular white vinegar. Well, I can't talk today. So I'm putting maybe about two top fulls, and you're going to stir it up. Now let me say, I don't know if this is the healthiest meal to make, but it sure tastes good, I'll tell you that. Secondly, our sauce. We're gonna put in a bowl that's ready to go on top. We'll just spoon that on top of our sandwich. You see it thickened up a little here. It's, it's loose because we used uh, Asian infused flavors the mirin, the soy, the uh, rice wine vinegar. We had some barbecue sauce and we had a little bit of water to thin it out because we were going to reduce it again. Once we got it some reduced, we put the sugar in, about a tablespoon of brown sugar. So you see here, oh, let's put it in a second. You see here, uh, 
the red pepper flakes and the sesame seed. So this is my version of Asian barbecue sauce. And I'm gonna put the whole meal together and show you how it looks. Do y'all see this right here? Do y'all see how delicious this look? Okay, so I have a onion roll. That's what I got for today. And I'm going to, now you could put mayo and all that wonderfulness on your sandwich if you would like. Me, I'd rather put it on the top because I don't like my bread soggy. So I'm gonna sit a good helping right on this bread. Let me tell you the fall off part, I call it the fall off, that's the extra goodness. Because when it's all said and done, when you're down to them last couple bites, them fall off pieces is wonderful. So, I'll be right back. Okay, can you see the sauce? Now that I got the light on, my daughter ain't had the light on, okay. So I'm gonna pour some of this sauce over our chicken cheese steak. One more spoon. Oh my goodness. This right here, y'all. That right there is flat out beautiful. Okay. This is a good meal. Thank y'all again for checking out Meals for Moms. We have here chicken cheese steak with Asian barbecue sauce and boardwalk fries. See y'all the next time.